concept. They've got 28 cameras, they've got LiDAR and radar. You've had a different approach. Six, I think, eight, eight to nine cameras and the neural network. Why do you feel that that is going to be the equivalent in terms of safety profile? Oh, I think it'll be better. Why? Uh, because the, uh, the way that the road system is designed is for AI, uh, it's basically, it's, it's, I should say, it's, it's for intelligence, uh, biological neural net, and eyes. Uh, that's how the whole road system is designed. So what will actually work best for the road system is artificial intelligence, digital neural nets, and cameras. And uh, we, we also have the microphones so the car can hear emergency vehicles and that kind of thing. Right. Um, you are going to have the microphones to hear the... the yeah, you yeah, need to hear... that was a question. That, right, you need to hear a fire engine or a police car. Yes, exactly. Right. Uh, so, uh, but that's, that's how the whole road system is designed. Um, it's uh, not designed for shooting lasers out of your eyes. Um, so, um, and what we found is that when you, when you have multiple sensors, and they, they tend to get confused. So do you believe the camera or do you believe the LiDAR? Mm -hmm. And if they get confused, that's, where you can, uh, that's, what, that's what can lead to accidents. So we used to have, for example, a radar in the car, but we found that the radar and the camera uh, would sometimes disagree, and then you don't know which one to believe. So it wasn't about expense, it was just about... No. Yeah. Are you seeing the data in, right... In fact, we turned off the radars in the cars. You turned off the radar, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, are you, are you comfortable right now? If I were to say to you, all right, let's go. Do you think that you're there in terms of the safety profile you're seeing right now? Yeah, we could, we could take a ride today if you want, sure. Yeah, well, I'm happy to take a ride with you anytime right. you want, wherever you want. Um, logistics capability to operate sort of a ride-hailing fleet at scale, because you mentioned, obviously, let's call it the end of 26. Are you going to have an app? Are you there? Do you have that ability? I think we can figure out an app. You Somebody do. tells me. You're not worried about it? Which has already has now. Yeah, I know. But so is there, is there going to be <laughs> a ride hailing app you'll introduce? How to ride an app. You know, that's really not the... It's not too hard? No. XAI could probably do it for you in like an hour. Tesla can ride apps just fine. Um, do you ever license, consider licensing the technology yes. at some point? Yes. We, we, we're, I mean, there are a number of uh, major automakers that have talked to us about licensing self-driving and um, we're very much open to that. Um, so. Uh, I think the more, the more we demonstrate the capability of self-driving, the more that they will want to license it, um, and, um, and we're, we're happy to help.